Well, I want to get my dinghy and uh, to go out and go to the store, hooked everything up, took the lines off, backed off. No power, no power to the motor. I'm like, what the heck's going on? And I go down, look at my things, open up my things. There's not a bit of water, not a drop. I don't know where the heck it all went to. So, I got me some water. I'm going to take and fill this up and see if I can get my power going, get it going again so I can make a trip to the store. All right, got that filled up. Let's see. Yeah. Got juice, kind of. At least enough to make it down to the shore and back, I hope. We'll see. Well, this morning, well, today I'm going to have to check out my battery situation. If you look at my charter here, it's down to only 8.8 .8 volts, which it's, it's a little bit low. And when I charged them, <coughs> charged them up the other day, uh, the charger said that I had a bad battery. So one of these three batteries here is uh is bad so what i'm gonna have to do is disconnect one at a time and test that battery it's really going to be hard so i've got the connections going uh to the main switch from one end up to the other end so it ran through all of them they're all running parallel but i might have taken one of these Evidently is bad. At least one of them is bad. Hopefully only one and I'll just take and have to replace that one. If not I may end up having to replace all of them. I hate to do that because that's well These only cost me. They only cost me about 300 bucks If I get them from from uh, Walmart, but anyway, I've already got this already set up so I can work in there in a little bit Get all the stuff put out. This is all the stuff that was in the uh, the aft berth over there, which isn't too bad. I've had worse collections of stuff in my way, but that's going to be my project pretty much for today, or this morning, or as long as the clouds. See, there it's going to be rainy later on today, so I need to get this done while I can. But that's my job for this morning, today, this morning whatever well I tested all of them a uh, couple of them were definitely needed to replace another one was right on the verge of it being bad uh, so this is actually the only one that has taken a full charge I pulled them apart and tested them like I said they were right there basically they weren't good, good, uh, except this one in the middle seems to be okay. It's charging, and it was bought later. This is the last one I bought. So I'm probably going to just have to replace all of them, get all brand new ones, all good ones. And put them all in at one time, but it's going to be not. These weren't that expensive. I think they were like eighty-nine dollars, ninety maybe, uh, with the core charge, of course. So I'll have to order them, pay the core charge, and then have these sent back up, or get a ride up to. Uh, Walmart where I got them to replace them but basically they're they've got to be changed I just use them too much you know when you charge and uncharge so long I mean they're good for a while but after a while they just all start to go bad and evidently two of these are and one's about to go oh well life on a boat okay I also this is where these are the connectors that went to my solar solar charger down to my 
that to my battery, back down that way. And they, as you see, were, came apart. So I replaced them. And actually, uh, the wires are bigger than what the connectors are. So I had to really be careful getting them thin that at the end and ripping them down really good so they don't come off again like uh, these other ones do. That's just one of the things I'm doing. I don't know if I recorded this yesterday after I did it, but I did hook up uh, the one battery, which is bigger than the one I had in here. Uh, it won't fit in that box, so I'm going to have to put some kind of, probably put that 2x2 two two along there to kind of hold that in place so it doesn't rock around. But uh, it's not as big as the one I was intending to get in there it's pretty big it's got uh 705 cranking powers only 576 amp hours to it though a lot of cranking power not that many hours but i only use it to go to here down the harbor so it should be okay for me i hope to check it out later today yeah, well, I've got a lot of things that I have to do. A lot of things going on in the marina, period. They're fixing the docks, fixing the tank, fixing that house up. And I'm in the process of fixing my battery banks. I did have my three house batteries I was going to replace, but they don't have them right now. I'm going to have to order those. So I usually get those at Walmart. And the... Uh, my starter batteries, which is my second bank, is what I'm using right now because these three are empty. But I'm going to take these three out and put this other one in, which is actually going to be my other dinghy battery. So I can go like forever between those two batteries. And I will get three new ones. Like I said, I'll probably have to order them. So today, the only project I have pretty much is taking these out and putting this one in so at least I have one good house battery. That's what my job is going to be like. Plus try to stay cool. It's going to be in the low 90s here again. Heat index up in the 100s. Not much wind. Just lots of sun. It's going to be warm. So I got to stay, try to stay cool and get this one little project kind of, kind of gone, done. Yeah, I've taken the first two batteries out. I got this one disconnected. All I have to do is pull it out. I'm going to just put this one back in for now. I still haven't ordered the actual new house batteries. But I'll get this one. This is my other, what's going to be my other dinghy battery. Backup dinghy battery. I'm going to use it for my house battery for now. And yeah, that's two. They're out there. This is disconnected. It's coming out. Then I'll check all my wires, put things back together, and see if I at least works like a house battery. Here we go. One connected. And you can tell how much brighter this light is here. Light was coming off of those batteries, not too bright. But I got the one all hooked up. Got the solar charger going to it. So you see I got three. And these are like big batteries. I got big feet. And look at that. that's how big they are. They're uh, 29 DCs, which means they're pretty doggone big. But uh got it done. So that's one semi-major project. Well when I get the other batteries it'll be super major. But at least that's done. Ta-da!